Hello, I'm Liam, and this is a short video on how I plant my onion sets. Onion sets are really easy to plant. A good time to start is in March or April, avoiding really cold spells if possible. And they should be ready to harvest by midsummer, July, or in slow years into August. So let's get started. It's the end of March, and today I'm going to be planting my onion sets. I've divided them up because what I wanted to do is to separate out any of the sets that have gone bad whilst they were waiting to be sown. This is an example, it's slightly soft when I squeeze it. And there are one or two like this one which has started to develop some mould in the flesh. I know from previous planting that I can fit about 12 sets in a row. So I've divided them up into five piles to give me five rows. The onion sets are going to be planted here parallel to my garlic. And I've already prepared the bed about autumn time last year. All I need to do is to lift up that ground cover fabric which I'll store away ready to be used next year. And then it's ready for planting. I'm going to be planting the onion sets through this biodegradable weed control fabric. I use it just to reduce my work to reduce the amount of weeding I need to do between the sets. Onions grow tall which means that there's plenty of light reaching the ground for weeds to develop. And this degrades away to nothing. And if there are any scraps left over, I just tidy them away. Onion sets are just heat treated miniature onions. The heat treatment stops their growth. And when you plant them, they restart growing. They need to be planted with a stubby end, slightly flattened end downwards and the pointy end upwards. They should be planted to a depth with the tips just below the top of the soil. Here on my allotment, because the ground is so dry, I plant them a little deeper than that, about an inch down, because I reckon that gives the roots more moisture. I've now laid the biodegradable weed control fabric. The next step is probably the most time consuming of the whole job. I'm going to cut squares in it, and through the squares I plant the onion sets. I find cutting square holes the easiest way of doing it. I've never really measured them. I guess each side is about an inch and a half, or somewhere between 5 and 10 centimetres, just enough to be able to place the set through and the set will find the light naturally enough so they don't need to be that big and the bigger they are the more chance there is for weeds to grow around them. It's been quite wet over the last few days, there's no need to water the sets in, I'll just push them in and when the rain comes it will bed in nicely. To plant I take an onion set making sure it's the right way up pointy end upwards and push it into the soil. And then to finish up I carefully place some soil back over the top. And that's it, that's all there is to it. And that's all the onion sets in. It's possible to see in a few of them just the tips of the onion tops poking through the surface of the soil. I water the onion sets in dry periods and if any weeds do start growing up through the holes then I'll remove them. But apart from that onion sets are very easy to grow and that's all the care they need. And that's it, that's the onion sets planted. All I now need to do is to cover with a net. Hopefully it's coming through on the camera. Just wobbling the net there to see it better. The net covering the sets to protect birds, lifting them up. This is a butterfly net which stops pollinating insects getting through. That's not a problem with onion sets because they don't need to be pollinated to grow onions. And that's it. That's the onion sets planted. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button or leaving a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel in the usual way.